Hey, what's going on, y'all? I hope everyone's having a blessed day. Um, I, I just want to talk to you guys about um, saving up some money. I think this is the time to start. 2019 is going to be the year that we have to start thinking about saving some money. If you stick with me, I'm going to I'm gonna walk you through a story that happened to me that kind of led me into my bankruptcy. When I was driving over the road in 2000, uh, basically 2010, I've been driving for about three or four years at this time. I had a lot of friends and family that told me to move to Louisiana to get an oil field because I was an over the road driver. And in 2010, I moved to Louisiana from California. I became a dispatcher. I wanted to be a dispatcher because I wanted to learn the market, learn everything. I just basically moved to, picked up and moved to Louisiana, became a dispatcher. I dispatched trucks for about two years. What happened was I started seeing all the money that the truck drivers were making. Because in 2012, the oil, it was an oil boom. I started purchasing trucks. There was a gentleman that helped me purchase my first two trucks. When I purchased my first two trucks, it took me about a year to pay them off. That's how well we were doing. I could pretty much run as much as I, I possibly could take, you know, because we had that much work. What happened was by 2014, I started really feeling like, okay, I can build something. I could start building something. So what I did was I purchased a truck, I believe it was in November 2014, and then turned right around in 2015, in January, purchased another truck. So now here I am with two brand new trucks. I have these high truck notes. I'm thinking due to the market, we're going to be okay. What ended up happening was by two, mid June of 2015, you could see the oil market start to contract. Like there was a contraction coming in the oil market. What I ended up doing was just doing everything that I could to keep afloat. At this point in time, we're we're doing maybe one, two loads, three loads a week. When I'm doing three, four loads a day. The rates that we were hauling the, the loads for were cut in half. I wouldn't say cut in half. It was cut, though. It was There was a pretty good chunk taken out of the, the oil rates as, as far as hauling, hauling freight. One load that would pay $600 would now pay $450. Like you, all the loads were cut. Fuel surcharge was taken out of the loads. What ended up happening was I just, I overextended myself and didn't, while everything was rolling, I wasn't putting money away. Like if I look back on it, what I would have done was I wouldn't have gotten those trucks and I would have just kept putting as much money away as I possibly could because I had no truck note. The similarities that I'm seeing today is that yeah, January and February is slow for truck drivers. Like, this is our slow period. But even saying that, what happens is the load that, like, for example, I would take a load from Atlanta to Dallas and back, right? But one way would pay me $2,000 in July of 2018. It's January 2019 now. One load would pay me $2,000 going one way. That same freight lane today in January 2019 will pay you roughly $1,400, right? So I'm seeing a lot of similarities in in the uh, spot market in 2019 that I seen in oil field of 2015. So I'm just coming to you guys to let you guys know I'm not in the oil field, and I get that. And I'm not really on the spot market right now because I, I've, I'm blessed. I have a, a a shipper, a direct shipper that ships me out from one coast and takes me to the other coast and back. So I'm not really 
on the spot market as much as everybody else. Uh, like I said, I just lucked up into a, a, a great situation. But what I'm trying to tell you guys is right now, if, if you guys have an opportunity to save up some money, and in this video, I'm going to try and walk you through some ways that you might want to start thinking about in, in places to save money. But now is the time to do it. There, there's no, I, I'm not going to sit here and try and say I'm, I can predict the market, predict what's going to happen. There's a recession coming. I will tell you the last time we did have a recession was 2008. So it's been eight years going on, or excuse me, it's going on 11 years since our last correction, right? So at this point in time, you want to start thinking about what are you going to do when it hits the fan, right? When when it hits the fan, what are you going to do? And I'll, I'm just trying to come to you guys and, and get you guys to think. Right now, if you're listening to this video, let's start getting our budgets together. Let's make 2019 the year that we start getting our budgets together. If you have that super duper internet, right? If you have the super duper internet, the super high speed, and can you cut that back to maybe one tier down and save you 30 bucks a month? Do you have to have the fastest internet? Um, is there a way that, you know, you could maybe use your phone like right now, a lot of the data plans have hotspots. So if you're able to use your phone as a hotspot, can you completely get rid of your internet at home? If you are banking with a large institution, like uh, I'm not going to say any names, but you know, like one of the big, large mega banks, and they're charging you 5 to $15, right? If you could take that money and put it into an account without really worrying about the 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 fees, right? Those fees, I, I don't I don't understand them because you're you're use, you're taking my money, you're making money off my money, and then you're gonna charge me to make money off my money, and then when I want to go to you and ask you for a loan, you're gonna charge me, you're gonna make money on the loan. If you can go to a smaller community bank or a credit union, you might want to start thinking about that because what happens is those smaller and uh, credit union, smaller community banks, they have the same technology that, <clears throat> excuse me, they have the same technology that any of these other banks have. You don't, like, when was the last time you actually went into your bank? Some of you might go in, but... The majority of us don't need to. If we get a check, we can take a picture of it and it's deposited into our account. So we're not really going to the banks. So what are we giving them our money for? Like, what is it that I don't I don't really understand that, but I'm guilty also. I'm guilty also because I, I bank with a larger bank, but I am I am going to start changing the banks that I bank with. If they're charging me a fee, I'm getting rid of them. Another thing is that you can do to save money. And this is something that I learned from Anthony Robbins' book, um, his most recent book. I can't remember the, the title of it. But he talks about um, how people can build wealth. One of the things that he talked about was this app called Acorns, this company called Acorns. And what this company does is back in the day, Right, just to give you a little story, some of you guys might not remember this, but back in the day, what we used to have is these piggy banks, or these where I come from, we would use these Alhambra water bottles, right? And we would stick our change in the Alhambra water bottles, or whatever kind of container you could put change in. If you see a penny, you would pick it up, put it in your container, you know, and you would do that for the year, and then at the end of the year or two years, however long it took you to build up a nice chunk of change, you would take that change to the grocery store and put it in like this big bin. Like there would be this big bin that you put the money in, and it would be a change counter. The change counter would count your change, it would spit you out a ticket, and then you would go 
give your uh, ticket to the register, cash register or customer service, and they would like basically cash you out. What the Acorns app does, right? The Acorns app, it takes your change because we all use credit cards and debit cards now. It takes you, you can link up your credit card, you can link up your debit card, and it takes your change. And what it does is it rounds it up. Like if you spend $4.70 on a coffee, it will basically take that 30 cents and put it off into an investment account, right? So you're not, it, it's painless, it's a painless way to start saving money. Here's the thing if you want to earn $5, there's a link that I'm going to provide to this app and you can earn 5000 or excuse me $5 I wish it was 5000 but you can earn $5 if you sign up using this link but I also get $5 I have to let you know it's an affiliate link um so if if this is something you're interested in to get $5 you can sign up one thing that they also have is they have this thing called found money and like anytime I go to a Chevron they take my change and put it away, but they also take my, uh, they also give me 50 cents for, uh, for using a linked card to the Acorns app or to Acorns. So it's just another way for you to save money. I believe I'm, I'm close to $400 into that account. And I, promise you it does you don't even feel it you don't feel the pinch because it, it's changed that they're rounding up they're just rounding up your change and they'll just pull it out of your account <clears throat> now I'm saying all this as ways for us to help to save money like if you can possibly cut back on your internet if you can possibly change banks to a smaller bank if you could sign up with the acorns and maybe if what you could do is maybe not spend so much on that luxury coffee now don't get me wrong I have my coffee also I get my coffee every morning but we have to find ways to start saving money in 2019 because this is our it's something's coming I, I can't tell you what it is because I don't know. I'm not, like I said, I can't predict the market, but I, I am seeing changes. One thing about experience is if you're, if you're smart, what you would do is you will look back on your experiences and see the similarities in the economy and try and stay ahead of the curve. Don't be behind the curve because those are the people that get wiped out. There was a lot of people that were wiped out in 2008 that lost their homes, that were really affected, um, lost their jobs. And with the government having a, a shutdown, which we're coming off the shutdown, but then you have the tariffs coming in March. I believe they're coming in, in March or, or somewhere around there. You, you look at the economy and you start seeing things that is going on that makes you go, is this something like 2012? Now, most of you probably are like, what is he talking about 2015? Excuse me, 2015. What happened in 2015? If you were in the trucking industry in 2015, you felt a contraction. Like, freight slowed down in 2015. There was a lot of truckers that felt, and as, I, as I'm talking with more truck drivers, I'm finding out it wasn't just oil. It was other truck drivers that drove on the spot market they felt a pinch also so the freight industry in 2015 took a hit and what I don't want to see because we're coming out of 2008 the recession in 2008 just think about this there's a lot of people who never really recovered from that recession that are still that's barely just now getting on their feet those are the people that I'm trying to talk to I'm trying to let you guys know, hey, look, this might be the time that we start looking at ways to prepare ourselves for whatever's coming. If you're watching this video and you stayed this long, I appreciate it. Please like um, this video or thumbs down. It lets me know that this channel's headed in the right direction. I know I give a lot of videos on credit, but I want to give... I want to be more than just credit. I want to talk about 
ways that we could start building wealth together. And if, if we could build a platform together to, to constantly remind us to always be building and trying to get better, then hopefully this channel will be for the better. It, it will make its mark that it's supposed to make in society and not be every other social media platform that everybody else has that's in the entertainment industry. I, I don't come on here to, to entertain you guys. I come on here to give you guys something that you could take away and apply it to your lives. What I'm going to do is tonight I'm going to make a video just off my Acorns app and I'm going to walk you through everything that's that's with Acorns so you could take a look at it. Um, like I've never been the one to be afraid to show you guys my accounts or, or, or anything, my credit cards. I actually had a gentleman <laughs> that uh, I don't know if you guys watched my last video, but he goes, uh, nobody wants your card number. You broke a n. I hope you guys understand what he's saying. But listen, I'm at where I'm at. I'm not gonna try and portray myself to be, you know, this this baller or anything like that. I go to work just like everybody else. I I'm proud for what I do. I'm proud that I provide a great service for our country. Um. But I'm at where I'm at. You know, if, if, if you have some insecurities about yourself where you are in life, then that's on you, right? But I take responsibility for where I'm at in life. I can tell you 2019, I'm going to be better off than I was in 2018. And that's all that's about. And at the end of 2019, I'm going to say I'm, I'm going to be better off in 2020 than I was in 2019. And that's all this channel is about. It's year to year trying to help us get better. And and I hope you guys get what the message of this channel is about, right? Because you can always go on Facebook and find some garbage or, or YouTube and find some other garbage. Come here to learn to make yourself better. And that's, that's the message that I'm trying to give. I'm not going to keep it too long. I got to get down the road. It's about that time. And, uh... If you guys get a chance, please like, please subscribe to this channel if you get a chance. Um, I work pretty hard on this channel, and uh, I, I just hope 2019 is something that we can look back on and go, you know what, we, we, we're we going to weather the storm or any storm that's coming our way, we'll be able to take, a, take the brunt of the hit, all right? So you guys have a wonderful day. I'm out. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. If you get a chance, watch my next video. I'm going to talk to you guys about acorns. All right? Talk to you later. Bye-bye.